Candyman, 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 Candyman. It smells like shit in here. All right, so here's my first reaction after seeing Candyman, the new film produced by Jordan Peele, and it feels definitely like a Jordan Peele screenplay, and even the style of directing felt directly from Jordan Peele, like it felt like Get Out meets Us, but with Candyman, and, and I think this was one horror franchise that really lent itself to his style. I feel like this light is really bright, but much like his other films, it definitely has that social injustice, social commentary vibe going on. Uh, but as far as like the craftsmanship, the making of it, the, the technical aspect, the way it just, it feels like it's crafted. It's artistic, it's slow, it's subtle when it needs to be, but fun when it has to be. And it has all these different vibes about it. And that's what I love. It doesn't feel like another modern day disposable horror film. It's just shaky cam and like jump scares. Like everything in this film feels earned and you care about the characters and their motivation and, and it's crafted. And that's the best thing I can say about his films is sometimes the concept, it's about the candy man. Let's be honest, the candy man, he's no Freddy Krueger, he's no Jason Voorhees, he's no Michael Myers. He was never one of my favorite horror villains growing up. I mean, sure, he's creepy, he has a hook for a hand, but I never eat candy from anyone, not even my grandparents, not black licorice, not ever. You hear that, Grandpa? Okay, I need to get in my car, it's getting late. Uh, but overall, I did enjoy the movie. Uh, I actually, you know, if I want to compare like screenplays, I think the screenplay to this is just more enjoyable than something like Us. I think it just makes more sense. It's more cohesive. It's just more simplified. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I, I, I would say it's a definitely a solid movie. It's a good horror movie to watch. It's not as creepy as like The Conjuring or something along those lines, but it's enjoyable to watch. Like you're, it's not just a series of jump scares and shaky cam, which is so refreshing. Yeah, speaking of the visual style, there's one really cool scene that takes place in this art museum showing house. Um, and I just like, I liked the visual style of it. I like the blue and red lights. It sort of looks like my live streams do on YouTube. Um, and also there was a Jeff Goldblum reference. Uh, must go faster, must go faster. I, I don't know if anyone's gonna pick up on that, but I really enjoyed it. And you know what, speaking of Jeff Goldblum, there's almost a similar situation with what happened to Jeff Goldblum in the film, The Fly. And it sort of happens to another character in this movie. It's just, yeah, eerily similar. I would say there's some inspiration there, but that's just me. And just remember, don't ever, ever say Candyman five times in the mirror. Candyman, 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 Candyman. Was that, was that four? That was four. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna lie to you, it kinda scares me.